Gritty from Awesome Final Cut Pro 10 gives you a powerful way to design video walls or a grid of elements while keeping you free to tweak and edit timing on your main timeline. Gritty was created exclusively for Final Cut Pro 10. You can find it in the effects browser under Gritty. I've got some clips and a color solid on my timeline I'd like to arrange into a stylized grid, and Gritty makes this very easy. I'm going to disable all but one shot at first and use it to design the grid. Then we'll copy the layout to the others once it's time for them to come in. When we drag Gritty on, if we notice unwanted clipping, we may first need to make this a compound clip to ensure we're matching our project's canvas. Gritty starts in layout mode. Our clip will appear in all of the cells so we can adjust all of the parameters to taste. Gritty can be applied to as many shots as you need, but I only have four clips, so let's adjust the rows and column sliders to two by two. The gap slider increases or removes the distance between the cells. I can offset the rows or reposition the entire grid. The trim grid sliders are for cases where we want to build a less standard grid of elements. I'll adjust the cell size and the width and change the roundness, opacity, width, and color of the cell outlines, tweaking the gaps as needed. The animate in and out controls provide a quick solution for transitioning each cell's position, scale, rotation, opacity, and tint without any keyframes. I like how this is laid out, so let's turn off layout mode and enable the other shots so we can pop them into their own cells with the same styling. If we wanted this layout for future projects, we can save it out as an effects preset. I'll copy our clip to the clipboard, select all my other clips, and do the paste effects command to get the same gritty settings on each of those. Now for each clip, I simply change the location slider to fill up my grid. After a couple of tweaks to my other clips scale and positions within their cells, our grid is all set. There are further individual customizations I can do, like adding name titles, drop zone elements, or adding a highlight to signify somebody speaking. Gritty will come in handy on all sorts of different projects, like music videos, Skype or Zoom calls for social media, but it's also incredibly useful for quickly building motion graphic elements right in Final Cut Pro. FX Factory offers a huge selection of great effects, and if you don't have them yet, I suggest you go try them out at fxfactory.com. Subscribe to this channel for more great videos every week.